Hello. Hello tout le monde. Hi everyone. I'm about to start our supper. And tonight I'm having two really nice pieces of salmon. I buy them frozen from Costco if I could. And uh, this will take two to three minutes in the steamer to cook from raw to perfect. And for me, perfect is a little bit pink in the middle. And I'm going to put this rub on it. Hopefully it comes out in the next catalog coming out in May, by the way. The salmon rub, you just pat dry the salmon with paper towel. Put a little bit of salt if you wish. Put a lot of this on. So I put some in a plate, in a little uh, bread plate. I'll shake it on. You'll see. I'll rub it. I'll flip it. I'll do the exact same thing. And then we'll put it in the steamer. And with it, I'll make uh, julienne carrots that I'll be making with the mandarin. And both the carrots and the salmon will be cooked at once. So I'm not going to cook it right away, but I'm just prepping because then we also want some french fries with it. Again. So if you want to watch along, you'll see how it's done. Carrots are done. I'm going to put them at the bottom of the steamer. Sometimes I do, um, most times actually, I use zucchini. I make zucchini zoodles with it. This time I just made julienne carrots, small pieces. The julienne is really good, very, very sharp. I wasn't paying attention a couple of times, I cut my thumb. Very, very sharp, very dangerous. So I'm going to continue with the uh, salmon, how I put the rub on it. Before I cook the fish in the microwave for two whole minutes, and then top is ready, I'm going to cut fries, cook them in the steamer for four or five minutes, put them in the active fryer for 10 minutes, and they'll be nice crispy french fries. 10, 15 minutes, depending how big I cut them. Take a break. to fry. I'm going to put the time. Ah, no. Hmm. That was close, eh? So I transferred the fries from the active fry into my steamer because you're supposed to steam them first for four to five minutes. So I've never really steamed any vegetables with oil on them already. These ones have a little bit of oil because I started it in the active fry and I thought, oh no. So I've got the uh, french fries in the square steamer in the microwave for four to five minutes. And then I'll put them in the active fry 
for about 10 minutes. I'll check them, it might be 15, but I cut them a little bit small, so I think after 10 minutes, they'll be nice and crispy and ready to be eaten. And that's when uh, I determine if, that if we can see that they are ready to eat. eat. I'll be uh, cooking the salmon for two minutes in the microwave and let it sit with the lid on when you take it out for one minute. Break time, now I'll make a salad. I want to talk about the, um, the grinders, any of these spices that you buy. I just took out the potatoes from the uh, steamer. See, I don't know if you guys can see the steam or not. It's pretty steamy. So I, you don't want to go over it with the grinder. So keep the lid on and grind the salt or whatever spice, the turmeric pepper I use all the time, which I'm probably going to add. And you do it right inside the lid and then just separate the lid and pour it over. Or else the humidity from the steam will go inside the grinder and you'll break it. It's the um, chocolate fudge. So I've got a cup of whipping cream. Let me turn that around. Hang on. Salmon's in the way. Oh, this is while the french fries are cooking. Just making a sauce to go with the uh, chocolate brownies. Uh, no, chocolate cupcakes. Oh, it'll be good. So in here I had a, uh, I had a cup of the uh, whipping cream. And I've added the contents of the packet. Chocolate like fudge. Listen to this really long list of ingredients. Organic cocoa. Organic cane sugar. Where that? Two ingredients in one of the best chocolate fudge sauce you'll ever have tasted. So you can put a cup of milk instead to make a chocolate syrup. Back up here. So you can add a cup of milk for a chocolate syrup or a cup of whipping cream for a chocolate fudge. And it is really tasty. And if you let it cool down, the fudge sauce, let it cool down, put it in the fridge overnight, then use your uh, mixer, electric mixer, and mix it for two to three minutes. It will thicken up. And that's what I use to make icing for my cakes. It's a super light tasting, not too sweet, very, very tasty. Whew. Great time. I had to put two ingredients together and whisk while the french fries are cooking. So I just checked on my fudge sauce. It's cooking, so I have to let it uh, boil now on medium for two to three minutes. The fries are about two to three minutes away from being ready. Now the time to put the salmon in. <laughs> Here it is. Put the salmon in. Remember this puppy? Here it is, salmon sitting on top of Julian carrot, a yellow carrot. And I'm putting it in for two minutes. And actually, you know what? I'm going to go with two and a half minutes because uh, my salmon is very thick in the middle. So I'm going for two and a half minutes. And I'm stirring this one. 
it's almost ready as well and everything's going to be ready at once. I'm a woman, of course I can multitask. This, salmon in the microwave, french fries in the act of fries, and I have time for a little break. Don't you just love Fridays? I wish you could smell this. Well, there is a way you can smell it. You know, buy it. It is very good, extremely healthy. Two ingredients. I have to put the fries on for another three minutes. These are cooked to perfection. There you go, folks. Two and a half minutes in the microwave, just a little bit pink in the middle. Oh, it smells so good. Here we go. Here's dinner. And. Mm. Mm. Get yourself a steamer. It saves so much time.